But as we look at the Arizona-Mexico border, where point of injury closures are pushing businesses to the breaking point, we're hearing from one dentist in Rocky Point who says if things don't get better soon, she's going to have to lay off her workers. ABC 15's Josh Cristianto hears about her dire situation. 90% of Dr. Shirley Amador's patients are American. And right now, 90% of her patients aren't making appointments. We have um, four doctors working, um, seeing patients, and, and their whole schedule just was wiped out. Our, our whole Complete. schedule was wiped out. Amador Dental Care opened in Rocky Point about seven years ago, and both Shirley and her husband Paul run the clinic with 11 employees. They've been cutting hours since the port of entry in Lukeville closed down as Border Patrol deals with a migrant surge. Fewer and fewer Americans are making their way down to Mexico as a result. We're trying our very hardest not to lay them off because they're, they all have families, they all have their obviously their needs. Born in Colombia and raised in the States, Amador had to go through a lot to get her U.S. citizenship. She says as a taxpayer, she expects more from her government. All my earnings that um, I have here in Mexico, I pay to the U.S. government. Um, uh, I'm compliant in every which way, and I just feel like my government's letting me down. While they don't know what the future holds, the Amadors say they're taking it day by day and hoping politics won't prevail over their livelihood. I am expect like uh, the government act fast and uh, um, I don't know, but the, the states, they have the power to get the solution fast. Josh Cusianto, ABC 15, Arizona.